If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. All right, so I've already dropped a lot of videos leading up to this release, but today I wanted to kind of gather all the information we have on this new Polo G album. So this is everything we know about Polo G's new album, Hall of Fame. So this thing has really been in the works for quite some time. The last time before this that we heard from Polo was his 2020 album The Goat, which kind of elevated his career to yet another level after his debut Die a Legend, which kind of, you know, really solidified his core fan base and had some hits on there and um, kind of, you know, crystallized himself as one of those shining figures of that melodic trap sound that I talked a lot about in the past already. But then, you know, he started dropping stuff like Epidemic, GNF, then, of course, Rap Star, which was his first, you know, song debuting on number one in the Billboard Hot 100. Um, and it was only a matter of time until this thing was going to be announced. We already knew the title for quite some time. It's just been something that's been thrown around the community and by him on, you know, social media. Um, so we always kind of knew that it was going to be called Hall of Fame. But then, actually, on May 26th, we got the official announcement. He took to Twitter, or to social media in general, to say, I got something special for you, I hope you appreciate it. Hall of Fame, June 11th. It's almost that time again. So from this, we know that, you know, Hall of Fame is the actual title, which, as I said, we kind of knew before, but this is the confirmation. He also gave us the release date, which is June 11th, which is this Friday. He also posted a little video with it, which was kind of a documentary type of style. So I think, you know, a lot of artists are doing these nowadays, but I think we're going to get some sort of short documentary on what this album means to him, what the you know, creation process of this was. That's just something that artists do nowadays just because it kind of, you know, really connects with the fan base. And in this video, he said a lot of interesting stuff. Now, if you've watched my video yesterday talking about what I expect from this new album, then you know that I mentioned this thing already. Because in this video, he said that he wanted to give people something they've never heard before. But this is something that I really don't agree with. Or, you know, I haven't heard the record yet, but from the four singles that we have so far, especially the two latest, Rap Star and Gang Gang featuring Lil Wayne, it's just, the production is great, don't get me wrong. Like, we can really see a step up on, on like, the tech technical side of it but the sound is just the basic polo g sound so it's really nothing new at all from him that's why i i'm really concerned that this is just like a label he's giving it to make people you know put more importance on it than it actually carries um but i really don't think that he's going to be successful in switching up his style that much because you know I don't think he's really there yet. I think he's going to develop his sound a lot further in the future. But if you want my full take on this, go watch the videos I've made so far on this. I think um, they're going to be really interesting for you. Anyway, let's you know continue uh, with stuff that he took to social media with, which the next part of it would be the track list. He um, you know, posted a couple of days ago, actually, just on June 3rd. He said, Hall of Fame, let me know which track you're most excited to hear. And we got the track list with 20 tracks as i said four of these we already know which is rap star epidemic gang gang and gnf but the 16 uh that are the rest of them is you know titles that we've never heard before i made a video talking about the track list when it came out because a lot of people were talking about it obviously because some of the features are very interesting features in here include the kit Leroy, lil dirk lil wayne scory g herbo rod wave the baby young thug roddy rich Nicki minaj pop smoke and fabio foreign some of these make sense pop smoke fabio foreign um they can really you know fit in with that drill sound that maybe he's going for we've seen him do that on gnf i think that brooklyn drill sound can mix really well with that chicago drill sound so i think those are going to be cool i already expressed my kind of weirdness with the track for the love of new york featuring Nicki minaj because of course, Nicki can rap about, you know, New York, but how is Polo connected to New York? Why does Polo G have a track called For the Love of New York? I still don't get it. I've said it many times already. If some of you know more about this, please let me know. But what is his connection to New York? 
Anyway, um, I still think some of the features are kind of basic to have a the baby and young thug feature on there. It's just very generic. It's just something that we see a lot of artists throw on their mainstream records. 20 tracks is a lot. Um, this also has me worried that this is kind of a, you know, flooding the market strategy. Um, I hope not. I hope he really gives these tracks some importance. But so far, when I look at this, I kind of have a feeling of what we're going to get. I kind of have a feeling in my head um, what these songs are going to sound like based off of his past stuff. He said that this is something new that he, people have never heard before. Um, but I'm really concerned that it'll not be. Um, anyway, I think that Polo G is someone who is shining very bright in this new generation of artists. He's a very young guy with a uh, long career ahead of him. He's already cemented himself as a very influential figure in developing this new sound. So I hope that this thing can not just represent that sound, but develop it a, a bit further. And then also give him a bigger platform to then, you know, do more stuff in the future. Some of these, you know, features I'm, of course, excited for. I think a Roddy Rich feature is always very special. A Rod Wave feature. I I love that he's showing love to Chicago, G Herbo, Lil Durk is on there. So, you know, it's all good. I'm not like too mad about it, uh, to be honest. So I'm excited for this. We also got the album cover. You know, that dropped a while back as well. Um, it's kind of in the rap star type of video theme. Um, you know, Polo G covers are never like really the best. They're always kind of weird. But that's something that we've already gotten used to, so it's nothing special. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, that's not like a sign of what the album is going to be like. So yeah, Polo G, Hall of Fame, dropping June 11th this week. We got the track list, 20 tracks, a lot. Uh, we got the features, some basics, some really cool, which I would love to hear. I'm excited for that Nikki feature, to be honest, as well. Damn, yeah. Um, and we got, you know, kind of a little documentary with it, which I thought was very interesting. I like that he's giving it a little bit of a story, a little bit of a narrative. Um, but I really don't think that this thing is going to be something, you know, that, we never, that we've never heard before. Because for that, the singles are just too basic. For that, it, he's just not been able to reinvent himself enough and develop his sound further. So... I'm kind of worried that this will just turn out to be another The Goat or another Die Legend. Even though with those two first records, we've definitely seen progress. And so far, the singles are already better than The Goat in terms of the technical side of it, the production, the mixing, the leveling, the vocal recordings. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some of that. Maybe this album will just be a perfected version of The Goat because some of the mixing on The Goat was awkward. Um, so I hope that it's more than that, but... More likely than not, it's not gonna be, and we'll have to we'll have to wait like another one or two records for him to really, you know, find himself as an artist. That's what I think about this. This is all we know so far. All the information. Now I want to know what you think. Are you excited for Hall of Fame Polo G's new album? What you know? What features are you excited for? What you think of the track list? What you think of the single so far? So definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.